G'day and welcome back to Mr. Morgan. Oh, they closed his thing again, man. That's. I hate Rockstar's patch that up. I hate that they've patched that. That's so bullshit. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. John's turns open. Johnny in there, though. He's going to find a spot. John, Arthur. What are you doing with that gun, John? You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Get up now! Huh? Is something wrong? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. Well... And it closes. Ah, oh, this game. I can't believe they patched that. I can't believe they patched that. Alright, what's the money situation? Forty-four dollars. So I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Well, Mr. Come. Morgan, well, bring me some go. materials and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Who's the situation? So I need five animal carcasses. Provision wagon needs to be twice. Yeah, that's it. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. Oh, and the tonics. Medicine cabinet needs to be upgraded twice. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. I'm gonna have to annoy someone else now. Instead of John, I can't believe they destroyed his. They freaking. Why did they patch that? They must have, because I used to do that all the time. John donated an owl feather. Uh. If I. Oh, but that's 45 fellas. Well, how are you? Not great. You and me both. The kit satchel materials. So what's easy to get right now? The the Panthers tough. Elk. The easiest one is probably this one. Deer beaver rabbit. Valuables. 
kit. Uh, materials. And what's the provisions one? Provisions twice. That's well, that's not too hard. So I'll need I you to go find me the right materials before I can make Good morning. That. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. Air Strauss. Gentlemen. Hi there. Remember, you're gonna get a lot of money from this next quest. Uh, okay, so lodging, that's 200. Ah, found you, Lenny. Still haven't found this one. Jesse Walker. Lenny. Morning, Arthur. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do. All right. Hey there. <laughs> Maggie. I hate Rockstar patch that up. Friggin' dipsticks. Alright, let's go in the Valentine. Yeah. And we'll go see Hosey. Study squirrel, quickly.
I keep friggin' missing the thing. Have another drink and then go see your wife. So that's what you do, huh? Sleep with another man's woman. I aim to be made a fool of. Your last chance. Where's the lawman? Arrest that stone bitch. Don't fret. The law is in charge now. Please, partner. Don't oh, move. Help. Help. Complete inaccuracy of how life was back then. I was picking up a dead body to get it off the street. And that's what it thinks I do. Like, that's just poor game design. Game okay. Like, that. Uh. Two things Rockstar destroyed with this game. The wanted levels. Well, the wanted how you freaking 
get a wanted level and the hunting system. Alright, I'll go see Jose. Uh, Who's the rabbit? Yeah, the, the hunting system in this game is absolutely crap. And then it's gone, like fucking hell, that's so stupid. Berries.
fitness, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, right, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks mm. know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> <laughs> By marriage. By marriage, he said. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Watch out! The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, <laughs> we should hang up our hats now. No. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there.
There's a bird I can see. Oh, it's gone. Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak in the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Night. Always night. Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Alright, so steal everything apparently. Gee. Siggy card. Gems of Beauty. Leela Stelston. Apparently, you have to steal literally everything. The count. Pearl necklace. Thank you. 
Why is that so loud? Nothing else highlighted. Well, from what I've gathered, that's everything. Get on, dear boy. Unless there's stuff outside I had to steal, but I'm hoping Come it's on. a house. Get on and let's head back. problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Hey, slow it down. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, yeah exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. You're going to crash if you don't slow down. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hmm, did I get gold? I want... Hello, I want the dialogue box. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. <laughs> like I said, of course, <laughs> but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming?
There's no point of that. We're just gonna go back. To camp. <coughs> anyway, so that's pretty much all the main ones for now. That's all that I had planned on doing. Now the rest I can just sit back, relax, and silver. I didn't get it back in time. Are you kidding me? A minute, ten seconds. How was that not a minute and ten seconds? Hey. $415. Hello, Arthur. Pearson said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! <laughs> oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! <laughs> oh, Alright, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you've got balls, anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's. Half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like that'd be enough. You okay. Hello, Arthur. I know what you said. But it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Being the camp joke. Oh, just because I have standards, huh? And manners. Manners is important. Manners is everything. Agree. Oh, you lot ain't got no manners. Just look at you. Susan! Hi there. Alright. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Where's the snake there? Good. You'll be able to make some nice with that. Thank you, Arthur. How many times you pissed yourself today? Okay, let's hear it. Uh, okay, ledger. Let's update it again. Who's fallen down? <laughs> Who fell back there? <coughs> Was that the reference? I swear, if I go to his tent and it's f fucking closed again. When she had me, and my daddy was gone by the time I was eight. I was on my own after that. <laughs> I was 11, the first time I shot a man. His fault. But <laughs> then we all think that all the time. I thought 
God himself would come down and take vengeance on me for what I'd done, but that ain't happened yet. Sometimes I wish it would. Well, I guess we'll be all right. We got Dutch. If there's anyone I reckon could convince good old St. Peter he got it wrong, it's <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> oh, we weren't that bad. Come on, let us in. Let us in. Let us in so we can rob you blind, just like every other unfortunate along the way. Fellers. Hello. Hello, Arthur. Hey. Oh. Hey, Arthur. How you feel? A little better. I'll be back in a sec. Come back and Arthur is left all by himself. Oh, and John's tent is friggin' hooked up again, for fuck's sakes. I need to go check up in my older videos if that was the case. Oh well, I'll uh, catch you all later then. doing Reverend Good morning, Arthur. 
Garza? Uh-oh, Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. Hey there. Good morning, Arthur. Hi there. Come on, stop sleeping. <coughs> What's going on? Ah, it's none. I need to sleep this off. Good morning, Arthur. There she is. Look at young Arthur. Well, I got some money to spend so in town, so I'll go check on you folks later.
shortly prepare to board hello there and welcome nothing like a fresh start Actually, first thing I'll get, I'm gonna get a new gun. Oh, there you are. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, rifles. Everything else will be unlocked for now, yeah, so I'm gonna get the springy. 120. Good, good. Uh, it's a nice piece and all, but I personally had some rifling. Take it or leave it. Bit more range. Twenty dollars. Uh, proof sights. Bit more accuracy. Rap. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Free. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Shit. What's under accessories? Oh right. Uh, sixty nine forty five. Great gun belt. Oh wait. Very nice. So the Springfield rifle, a military favor for Lancaster Springfield. A powerful breech loading weapon designed for medium and long range combat. Accuracy makes this weapon effective against large mammals, but slow firing rate may be an issue trapped in close quarters. This gun is a single shot weapon. Can we use regular high velocity split point express to explosive rifle ammo? Thanks, partner. for some more provisions have a look around I can get you anything in there you need um see let's take a look at horse care first
Let's take a look at the outfits. Uh, have a civil for hot temperatures. That's mighty popular these days. Valentine needs higher on her, right? I sell out of that pretty fast. The Claremont. Right, stalker hat. Those go pretty fast. Oh yes, that reminds me of Jose's hat. Appreciate it. I sell out of that pretty fast. The flat cap doesn't suit Arthur at all. You like the look of that one, huh? I like that one. Uh, Crusher. Yes, I like that one. Good doing business with you. the hat like roll derby derby careful playing cards in this town some real cheaters around here That's done. I hear the old cuss that owns the stables got into a hell of a fuss with his old lady. Taking a shine to that, huh? Which is the hat that, yeah, because I got a black, I don't know. Fella came in here, started taste testing the liquor. Unbelievable. Those go pretty fast. The smell of sheep shit in this town never goes away. It's all yours. Got what I need. So I hear someone robbed a stagecoach from Bob Crawford. I hear it. Come back again. Heard they fell. 
found a man hanged himself in his room at the inn. Just when I thought I heard it all. Hmm. All right then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, what okay. is the deal? Yeah, where do you get a lock breaker? I'm trying to remember that. Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. If you're gonna wanna... Wait a sec. You can't be over there. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. <laughs> this shop ain't the place for your tomfoolery. Hello. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. For Christ's sake, get the hell out of here! Okay, partner, whatever you say. You're starting to rile me now, pal. You get the hell out of here. Well, I'm going off to Emerald Ranch. Ain't nobody got a heart. Come on, boy. Real hungry here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on us. Look at you. Another coward trying to play it tough. You looking to prove something here? Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. You're oh, done shit. here! Oh, now stay there! <coughs> no. There we go. What in the place? Have sure. a law here in a trap. Almost, fellas. Saints alive! God, no, don't do it. Please help. This Hell's is fire. Uh, very kind of you. skills you never learn come with me
My name is the Vidicus Cornwall. I'm sorry, boy. There's snake boy. Where? Seems like a good spot. I hope you enjoy where you're going, friend. It's out here. It's not in here. A good fortunate place. Yeah, I don't think I got bait. Oh, you can, um... Rut. I'll come back for you. I promise.
Good day, Seamus. Okay, uh, let's see. Alright, I have two yep, I get a lot of these. Gold bar. Uh oh yes. People lose these all the time. Parker watches. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Thank you, Seamus. Right now, what can I buy? Uh. Canvas, I could. Psycho mask, document. Ooh, poison arrow, pamphlet. Good choice. Yes. I won't ask too many questions about it. Looking to get something put together, huh? Mm hmm. Uh, coarse chunk, silver chain bracelet, gold earring, chobet, petrified wood, silver earring, legendary bison, and learned shell fragment, old brass compass. And these are all legendary. Alright, well. Uh, I'm gonna take some time away. Trust me. Knives. Yep. Lockbreaker. You got it. Tomahawk pamphlet, nice. special bitters pamphlet. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Okay. Just this hides identity oh, yeah. while committing crimes, but it doesn't because when I put it on, I still get a wanted level. Oh wait. Oh, it's in the horse. There we go. Arthur looking very nice. Can't fast travel yet, no, no. Special Bitters Pamphlet Violent snowdrops are favorite home remedies combined with sage and burdock root which purifies the blood is known to relieve rheumatism. The stimulant effect can felt for a reconsiderable period increase the stamina which is adventurous in a battle or the bedroom. <laughs> you can substitute wild feather few if violent snowdrop is unavailable. Gel stamina sage burdock root Shred two of each herb and place it in a tin cup. He thoroughly reduces a small amount of liquid. Place the container soft use more effectively than Dr. Lazar's Cumberland. Bit of sprint. To help a cure some cakes, swallow a tablespoon of sand. No. Homing tomahawk. Owls are silent, deadly hunters who locate their prey in the darkness. Their feathers have long been seen as a symbol of power by Indian tribes. The Greeks considered the owl a symbol of protecting armies going to war.
the frontiersman requirements at Tomahawk fa fa Owl Feather. Firmly hold Tomahawk secure feather around the shaft. Ha! Stow Tomahawk for use. Camping tip. When building a shelter in hot climates, cover the walls with a mixed blood of cow dung and create clean permanent plaster. Poison arrow pamphlet. True outdoorsmen must be able to surmount all difficulties, whether saddling a wild horse, tending a raft, dispatching wildlife, or savages that possess the threat. In cases of firing an arrow into a man, large beast will only enrage them further and result in harm to your person. Ancient Greeks and Romans understood this and often coated projectiles with poisons. Arrow feather, oleander plant. Oleander plant. Rub oleander plant carefully along the head. And of an arrow, attach additional feather. Storing quiver, carefully track usage. You should never eat game filled with poison arrow. Doorsman tip keep your eyes skinned, your powder dry, and your knife sharp. Rabbits. Ah, oh, no, no. I needed the carcass. Oh, well, I can use the rabbit for something else. Collect one of three perfect rabbit pelts. Okay, so well that was part of a master hunter anyway. These are ravens. Yeah. Yep. Which one? That one. That's a Morgan as well. Yep. You're all right, boy. 
very good boy. How much money do I have now? 500. Needs a carcass to camp, though. That's what he said. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey, hey, you! Please, you, you gotta get me out of here. Easy now. Get up. There, boy. Tree sparrow. bird. How the hell did I end up getting the wrong bird?
It's me, Lenny. if we talk about this later sure i suppose this can wait oh thanks oh yes i'll be able to make you something out of this many thanks mr morgan all right arthur don't forget i'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials i was a man oh Need two of them, damn it. Quick in Vienna. Perhaps. So he could steal some bread for us. My little sister Anna. She was sold into servitude by father at the age of nine. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. I had health problems, so I got sent with my uncle on the boat to the New World. Oh, they imagine that Brooklyn fog is better for a child's lungs than good Viennese smoke. We sail into the Hudson. The whole city is on fire because of riots due to the war. I believe I have arrived literally in hell. My uncle is so horrified, he promptly drops down dead. And I am all alone in the new world. <laughs> How strange fate is. And look at you now, living the dream. Or the nightmare, depending on the day. Indeed. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah. What, Reverend? Mr. Morgan. Hey, can this wait? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, yeah. Not that important. All right. Just go to bed. How are you? Arthur's getting sick of this game. <laughs> well, I need 220 to upgrade the two so might as well. Uh, 300. What happened with the horses? How you holding up? I live. Yeah, well, it is for you, Dutch, after all.
Couple of months. Fast travel Couple 325. Since I got sick, it's all been tough, you know. We're born with some dreams. We acquire others as we get older and we live out something else. I was... When I was younger, I wanted to be a priest. I did a priest. A priest? Didn't know you had to be a Catholic to be a priest. I guess... I was always looking for a messiah. Funny what you find in this life. When I was a kid back east, they said there were dragons in the west. Dragons. Well, <laughs> I guess we found them. Found them or made them or became them. Oh, these futile lives of petty sin we have lived. What choice did we have, really? Streets weren't paved with gold. There was poverty in Europe, there was poverty here. Only here, you could stick a gun to someone's head. Gee. Take what you want. <laughs> that was the only difference. I can see you as a priest, Jose. A priest con man, maybe. Right. <laughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, then. Whose horse is this? Just... Tr trundling around camp. Stalk by John's tent. Maybe, maybe stay in his tent. See what happens. I ain't leaving until John comes. <laughs> the ultimate prank. John, how do you like me in your tent? Who's this? Huh. What's old Dutch doing over there? His tent isn't closed. There it goes.
Who is it? It's Johnny. There he is. Oh, it's you. Arston. No. Come on. Get out of here. You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Why are you poking around here? Yeah. We need you, John. <laughs> All right, then. Can I get some peace here? Fuck. Uh, I can't do that. You know, you know, my mama was born in a field. Literally, in a field. Her mama was picking cotton, didn't even know she was pregnant. Came over funny and she gave birth right in the field. And the goddamn overseer, he took my mama away and made my grandmama get up and finish picking. Overseer was sweet on her and used to rape her. After she was set free at the end of the war, he tried it again and she killed him with a knife. They nearly lynched her, but she ran away and my mama never saw her again. think we had it hard. I wasn't saying it so you feel sorry for me or nothing. I uh, know. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. Alright, that's it for... Already, uh, oh, he's... Oh, but he's probably out, isn't he? <gasps> it's open! Well, I was about to end the stream. But it's time to annoy him. <gasps> Shadow. There he is, Mr. Marston. What, oh, Arthur? oh, nothing. I, I... Oh, oh, there you be. It's. <laughs> hey. Hey! What is it, Morgan? Ah, I've forgotten what it was now. <laughs> I need some sleep. So it's not always 100%. Oh, and it's gone now. Bloody hell. Alright, well, at least we did a bit of a prank on Mr. Marston. So, there we go. Alright, that's it for today. And. There we go, good night.